Hey, look who's back up and about. Didn't I tell you it'd be fine? Oh, almost forgot. Brock, this is our new friend Mimir. We've, We've met. met. Oh, why didn't you say so? He, he knows, knows why. why. I, I know, know why. why. You, know, you why. know why. Quiet. No more of this. Know what? I'm sorry I brought it up. Can't you and Sindri just patch things up? Whatever happened couldn't be all that bad. You're family. Now don't be lecturing me about family. I ain't the one what forgot what our name stood for. What we made, the weapons we made were legendary across nine realms for more years than I can count. We just don't throw that away on account of one bad... One bad what? One bad nothing. Ain't you got somewhere to be? Now what was the other thing? Here. Boy. Yes, sir. Vathergar. Southern outposts of the Dwarven King. Dwarven King? Have you ever heard of a Dwarven King? No. I'd heard rumors of a powerful dwarf ruling over some poor swords not far from here. Not that you asked me. You scare up that alchemist what needed finding? What happened to these people? Follow the clues. Okay. Well, scorch marks. They're all grouped together. So maybe they were hiding from some kind of fire breather. But they died anyways. <laughs> Curse the Dwarf King, Bane of Mankind. Sounds like he wasn't a very good king. I wonder why they hated him so much. They are dead now. Does it matter? No, I'm just curious. Curiosity is dangerous, boy. Stay focused. Read it. Veda Dalder. It means hunting death. Great. <laughs> begin to build statues this big. Dwarves are resourceful creatures. Annoying. 
but resourceful. I guess they must have been pretty important dwarves. I know we're almost done with that story. Ah, yes. Thor's massacre at the wedding of Trim the Cunning was finally put to a halt by our friend Freya. And oh, would he ever revenge himself upon Freya? What is the point of this story, Head? Well, for Thrym, the lesson would be to keep his priorities straight. For Freya, it's that doing good has a price. For Thor, it's that no object of power makes you what you are. And if what you are is the biggest butchering bastard in the Nine Realms, nobody can take that away from you. Oh, here it is. It's gotta have a weak point. Somewhere. Glad I'm on your side. His father's great. Find anything good? Perhaps. Father, we're going to bring down that statue, right? This easily, boy. I know, I know. I was just joking. Nor are they a joking matter. Sorry. Father, why do the gods cause so much trouble for mortals? Because that is their nature. But with all that power. You would think at least some of them would try to make life better for people. And yet, the gods continue to spread misery. This is life, boy. Hmm. Well, at least we're doing some good. Right? <laughs> that sounds like a dragon! <laughs>
is a dragon. Is this one chained up too? I see something over there. Look here. Yes, sir. Another marker. Watch out for the dragon breath. I am aware of it, boy. here. This must have been a small settlement.
it'd be dangerous to destroy the other ones. If it was your mother's wish. Yeah. You are too eager, boy. It may attack us, and we will be forced to kill it. Looks like the runes on the right side fell off. They must be around here somewhere. After he got so many of them killed? It is a command to have faith despite his failures. Her. The great huntress. That's right. Queen of the hunt, they called her. That's her father. And all the animals she hunted. He taught her well. And the last panel. Her father again. Both of them. In the snow. And they're still there. It's quite a story.
Yeah. But if a dwarf broke it, they must have been impressive back when he ruled. Now we find out if dragons can be grateful or not. His subjects hunt dragons and other monsters for him? Some king, huh? To see this. Looks like that lover over there will free him. You will attack him. I know, but it feels wrong to keep something caged like this. Your emotions again, boy. You can't hear their thoughts. I can't. And ready yourself. Okay.
What is the beast thinking now? Well, nothing. But he was grateful to die in battle. Instead of rotting in a cage. Your skill is improving. You fought well, Atreus. Thank you, Father. Chair feels good. Yes, sir. Please don't eat us. Please don't eat us. Prepare yourself! What happened to all the people who lived here? Follow the clues, boy. Right, right. Follow the clues. Okay, so there was an evil dwarf king, and he made all these people hunt monsters. The people put them in cages, and then... And then I don't know. Hmm. We are missing a clue. Back inside the castle? No. There is nothing more for us inside. But stay alert for chain dragons, boy. Perhaps you'll uncover more about this dwarf king. Atreus, to me. Okay, I'm coming. Father, this looks interesting. 
Ready yourself, boy. Maybe I can fly. No, no! Gods too must stay on the path, I promise you. So what do you think, Mimir? What does Baldur want with us? Well, let's look at what we know. Baldur is Odin's finest tracker bar none. If he wants you, you have to consider the possibility that Odin wants you. And as for what Odin wants, on this I have some expertise. What could we have that Odin doesn't? He's like the king of gods. Of the Aesir, I. But his reach is not unlimited, and where he cannot reach, he is preoccupied with going. He certainly tortured me enough about it over the years. Have you destroyed the statue? The statue stands no longer, spirit. Then my bond to this realm is severed. And I am off to find the real god of thunder. He will know retribution. My deepest gratitude. Off he goes. Brave god. Want to look for Thor on his own. He is a fool. about that giant lady with the bow. She was called Skadi, Queen of the Hunt. Her father was Piotzi, who could take the shape of any wild creature and taught Skadi how to hunt them all. From the ribs of pack beasts, she fashioned second feet allowing her to glide upon the snow so no animal could evade her. She became a huntress beyond compare, even to any god. Odin himself wanted her for his bride, believing she would bear him strong sons. But she spurned his affections, and for that insult, Odin vowed revenge. Well, I can just tell you this story later.
Come, boy. Boy. Hmm. This is good to know. Scare up that alchemist what needed finding? Brock. Fuck else you need. How come your brother's got half your brand? Cause I ain't in a working relationship with that foot licker no more. I wasn't about to let him use it without me and he likewise. Only thing to do was split the brand 50-50 down the middle. Guess that was the last thing we saw eye to eye on. What? You want a hug? Hit the road. Sorry. Uh, these runes read death inside. So, Brock said his friend was dwarven like him, wearing a green ring. Look at you. Gathering resources for our journey. You don't want to help him? No. Dwarven, but no ring. One of his crew? Oh, yes. There, along the floor and wall. Weird. I guess we keep looking. We? I mean, I'll keep looking. <gasps> Us. That's it. No Valhalla, no hell, no after ever. It does not attack. Oh. Mom made them sound more dangerous than that. Then do not drop your guard. Come. You didn't care. I noticed the lack of ring while looting the body. Oh.
gonna find Brock's friend alive, are we? Boy. Yes, sir. Hey, it's another treasure map. Attached to the Soul Eater. Well, we know what happened to Invari now. We can just go tell Brock. No need to fight it, right? No, you fight it. But why? Because you are frightened of it. Strong, Atreus. Stay focused and look for a weak point. Yes, sir. Stay quiet. Make no sudden movement. Go! Enemies ahead!
The alchemist. But where's the rest of them? Crash is most likely. The soul leader got him. I guess we should bring this back to Brawl. <laughs> Read it. Yes, sir. These runes were written fast. It spells out Ejim Staney. Hmm. I don't know that one. We will ask the blue one. So now you're interested? We found his alchemist. A reward was promised. What'd you find? Your alchemist. I'm sorry, Brock. The hand is all we could find. Still wearing the ring. There was a soul eater inside. And, well, it must have burned away the rest of him. Suppose you'll still be wanting some compensation, huh? Naturally. Naturally, he says. Miani for Uxi. I'll take a closer look at this here ring. Maybe Anvari left a bit of magic inside for he croaked. Dwarves can do that? Sure, dwarves and magic jewels is like flies and pig lips. Supple ones. Ugh. I'm not as interested as I thought. Oh there. 
Got another favor to ask you two. What do you want, dwarf? I got another lead on my old pal on Vari. Meet me at the Lonsuther Mines. There's some fancy dancy loot in it for you. Another lead? But we already found him. Well, found his hand anyways. I'll explain at the mines. These ones is just south of the river pass. Now you two want something, or are you just gonna stand there all gag scrapped and slack jawed? What'll it be? Pulled the ring off on Vari's hand at the Bellander mines. Feller was always tampering with souls and dark rituals and matters of the night, see? Just the sound of his hammer flattening metal were enough to stoke my fires all blissful. Shit, you better clear out before I get all frisky. Later, then. Boy. Tell me again how Odin knew we were going to Jotunheim before we did. Odin is extremely clever, you see. Nearly as clever as he thinks he is. And he's a collector of prophecies. If it's about the future, he adds it to his collection. Helps him style himself as all-seeing and all-knowing. But of course, the idea is control. Control of the future, control of his fate. He'd control every realm of every land in every world if he could. Every potential pocket of resistance, he seeks to eliminate. Even if you've never posed a threat before, he may think one day you might. So you see, it's not important how he knew before you did. It's important that he was right. And it sounded important. I'm sure it's nothing. He just said the boy seemed familiar to him. Me? That's impossible. Oh, I quite agree. Unless, perhaps, he refers to something yet to be. It is said that when Jormungandr and Thor battle at Ragnarok, their clash so violently shakes the Tree of Life that it splinters, casting the serpent backward through time, even before his own birth. What? That is madness. Well, I did say not to concern yourself. Atreus, to me! Why there are no more? 
more giants left in Midgard? I mean, not counting the serpent from the future? Well, they did not take me into their confidence about that, Odin's convictions to the contrary. But I know this. If I'd spent the better part of 60 winters seeing my best and brightest cut down by Thor and that damn hammer, I might very well go home to lick my wounds. It's too bad. I was fond of every giant I ever met. So that's why they destroyed the bridges to Jotunheim. So the Aesir couldn't fall. Is that why there's no tower in the lake? I doubt it's a coincidence. So you think when we get to Jotunheim, we might find giants there? Anything's possible. so desperate to find a way into Jotunheim anyway. He's convinced the giants hold the key to changing his fate when Ragnarok comes. They are the Aesir's oldest enemies after all, and it's their army that's supposed to do him in in the end. But more than that, he covets their gifts of prophecy. He wants to know what they know and see what they see. So much suffering could have been avoided if his insatiable curiosity was not so much stronger than his wisdom. What do you mean? Ah, remind me to tell you why they call him the Lord of the Hanged. <gasps> Whoa.